Uh, Michael, good workout today for the boys. Got what you wanted out of it? Yeah, brilliant workout. It's warm out here, as, as you know, as people can see. So, um, yeah, good workout. Got through it. We just talked about the physical return. We've been training hard and two groups with 45, you know, even Luke's done 90. So, yeah, we've got what we wanted from it. Bit of workout, bit of a learning and, yeah, move through into the next busy week. And great for you as a head coach that you've been able to uh, uh, put this squad together and you've got good numbers in this squad. Yeah, good numbers and also great to try and see what they can transfer from training, how well they learn, how well they, they, they take things on. Because you can train as much as you like, but you need to go against opposition. So there's that element of it, of me seeing them a little bit more, especially the new boys or the boys who've been back on loan, how the group connects on the pitch. And then, um, yeah, obviously the physical returns that we're still building at the tanks ready to go. How good has this week been for you as a, a, a both a on the pitch thing to do in terms of the fitness, but also an off the pitch when it comes to the, the bonding and getting this group yeah, close? I think it's really important. I know some people don't know why we come away to these places, but it's hard work. People that have been in the hotel know the players have been training double sessions. Yeah, they might have an afternoon off here and there, but it's about connecting as a team on the pitch. It's about getting our ideas of how we want to play across to the players in a really like intense, merciful way where everybody's like around everyone all the time. So big meetings, lots of work, ready to plan, because when you get into the season, as you know, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, you're recovering and regening and then match prepping. So it allows us to try and develop the players and the principles we want to play. Um, and then obviously the physical stuff in the heat and pushing them hard, you get those returns as well. So for me, it's been a, a great week. Yeah, and six new signings plus Connor is the, the seventh. It's been a, a good busy month, hasn't it, for you in terms of players coming in? Yeah, busy month, people going out, coming in. But I think we've done what we wanted to do. Um, I think we've we've gone early, which is great. And for me, it's it's really important because we can train and, we, and people can come in and try and stake a claim for a place and push for position if you like so yeah I think so far so good um, but yeah we've got a little bit to do still. Yeah I was going to talk about that we'll talk about the goalkeeping situation in a moment but overall still looking for some some players in. Yeah I think we still need to strengthen in certain areas and um, get people um, to strengthen so we're competitive in places um, there's nothing better than having a really good group like this honest group and hard-working lads but as we go through the season, we need bodies to change, but we also need competitors, everyone competing for places. I think last season when people were competing for places, we saw the best of the group. And everyone's going to you know, have to do well. Um, so I think we just need to yeah, strengthen in a few areas um, and hopefully we can do that. Um, goalkeeper Lucas Jensen leaving obviously midway through, which is never ideal in, in any pre-season, but overall a good deal for the football club and, and proof that you can you know this is a club they talk about win and develop and, and Lucas Jensen has been a prime example of that yeah I think first of all I think it's great for Lucas um, there's no doubt he's, he's been great for the club a brilliant keeper last year his numbers his, his performances showed that I think it, we we as a club prepared for the players we thought might get opportunities and might come in and then ultimately it's a decision for the board the club to decide whether it's the right business decision versus the football decision there's always you know there's always trigger points and everything and in the end I think you know Millwall pushing really hard uh, makes it difficult for the club to say no to but you know we have to now find the next we've got two young keepers in a training hard and we have to go to work on what the next one looks like and we're doing that and the recruitment team have been doing that because we know we're at the risk of losing players so we've got our targets if you like if you want to call them that um, but yeah so we wish him best but now we move on to the next and hopefully we can um, yeah, keep pushing and keep winning. Uh, just talking about a couple of players who haven't been in involved today, first off uh, Tyler Walker. Yeah so Tyler's been like, phenomenal the way he's, he's, been in he's been in training pre-season, he's doing extra, he's come back um, amazing, you know, he's been a phenomenal attitude to, to pre-season and, -pre and before pre-season sorry. And um, he's been out here, he's been training well, and then he's just rolled his ankle. We don't know what it is yet. I'm going to be honest with you, we, we've got to scan him when we get back Monday. We don't want to do it here. So he's walking around with the boot, as people have seen, but it might be something, it, it might be nothing. So we just don't know. I just, he's just been unlucky. It's not the same injury. So, you know, it's just unlucky for him, but he's in a, he's in a good spot. So hopefully it's, it's not too bad, but to be honest, don't know. And Ethan Hamilton, it was always a cause that he was unlikely to make the most of pre season, but he's been out here and doing a little bit of work. Yeah, no, Ethan, like the. If you like the rehab boys, injured boys, I wanted to bring them out here as well because they're part of the group and I didn't want them to stay at home training when, you know, there's other lads out here enjoying a bit of cricket sometimes and those lads got so I just it's been important for me that we have a good environment and Ethan who's quite a way off still, but he's out here around the lads, he's enjoying the gym with the rehab staff and yeah, it's important that we keep everyone connected who's who's part of us and that's why he's here. And Rico was getting through a lot of running on the, the pitch behind us that he's not far yeah, away. Rico's a bit closer. Uh, a lot well quite a bit closer than Hamo. Um, he's, he's on the grass running, he's not quite into contact yet. 
Um, but yeah, Rico's looking good as well. Um, one player we have to talk about is Lewis Monsmer. Quite a story, March 2023. Uh, I know he's still quite a way off from being maybe a part of your first team plans in terms of selection, but an amazing moment for him to get that half hour today. Yeah, you just you know, like, uh, honestly, the pain players go through, like, what, lo what Lewis has gone through is painful. And, you know, just to see him back out there and his smile when he's training and I say to us, look, this, this, is the, this is it, this is why we do it. And for him to just get 30 today, nothing more. It's hard, we need to just look after him. but. You know, everyone knows his quality. Um, we've just got to try and look after him, give him the best opportunity to get back into first team football, and that's what we're doing. Uh, what will happen will happen, um, but so far, so good. He's been fantastic. And just finally, what's the plans for the next seven days when you, you get back to, to Lincolnshire? Yeah, we, we fly tomorrow, uh, Sunday off, have a little bit of a rest, try and get some shade. <laughs> <We're somewhere laughs> sure we, uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. And then um, Monday training, Tuesday, we've got a behind closed doors game and then yeah, we're into the rest of the week and then into Saturday. So there's only just Sunday really to give them a little bit of breathe, a bit of time with the family who's not, that have not been around for a while and then we're straight back into it.